Xander Clavel is behind bars for the night. Oh, oh, Bessie. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rinny Peaches and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be playing with the Clavel? Clavel household? They are a pre-made family in The Sims 3 Sunset Valley that spans across three generations, although only two of them are actually alive. Little bit grim. Probably could have went without mentioning that. <laughs> so let me read off their family bio. Xander Clavel is a party animal still living in his parents' house. Buster is tired of Xander's mooching and wants him out. Will Bessie have to choose between her son and her husband? So there seems to be a little bit of turmoil within this family, and that's something that interested me. So first things first, we have Mr. Buster Clavel. He is a loner, family-oriented, grumpy, a heavy sleeper, and frugal. He has a few relationships, but not many of them are very developed. He has a good but not great relationship with his wife Bessie, and he is friends with Bo Andrews. But as you can see here, he does not get along with his son. They're not enemies, but it's clearly taking a toll on him and they do not like each other. Next up, we have Bessie Clavel, who honestly, like, I like her. She seems so sweet. She has no sense of humor, but she is family oriented, neat, good and artistic. She has quite a few friends, actually. She has an okay relationship with her son. It's slightly on the green side, but I don't really think they have too much of a relationship outside just kind of liking each other because, you know, they're family. And then finally, we have Mr. Xander Clavel. He is most of the way through being a young adult. So he's like, he's getting old. Like this guy, surely he's in like his 30s by now, right? He is a party animal, inappropriate, has commitment issues, is hot-headed, and a mooch. He also has a few relationships. He is friends with Tamara Donner, has some just acquaintances with a few people, and then we get to the end where he is disliked by Victoria Andrews and dislikes his own father, Buster Clavel. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through this family how I imagine they currently live. Xander's going to be throwing a lot of parties, getting into chaos, and then I think we'll just see naturally how the story goes and see what Bessie decides to do. Because really, it is kind of up to her. He is a level one in the criminal career, which just... <laughs> even better. He has no skills. I... yeah... he has, you know... I don't really think that this guy has many long-term goals. So I'm gonna make Xander go out on the town and meet some people because I want him to throw a killer party. Going to the Rumi's household seems like it would be a good idea because there's quite a lot of young Sims living there. Xander learned that Tamara is rich. Yeah, so he's already friends with Tamara, so let's just get them talking to one another. Um, oh, maybe not any of those. Okay, well, they seem to really like each other. Here we have Styles McGraw, Emma Hatch, Blair Wainwright, and someone else who went upstairs? Cyclone. I know Cyclone lives here. Because he has his fucking gamer tag as his actual, like, uh, legal name. Okay, well, let's just get to know some of the other Sims here so that we can actually throw this party later. Okay, and then Mr. Cyclone Sword. I actually... I make fun of him. I actually really quite like him. <laughs> a lot of my- oh, okay. Yeah, no, a lot of my sims that I have played in Sunset Valley just like get along with him really well. I think he's just kind of- I wouldn't say cool, but he's, you know, he's fun to be around. Yeah, see how fast they became friends? Like, I, I kind of like him. What the hell? Why do they feel so bad? I check on you guys for- what the fuck happened? I am very- why do you guys feel miserable? Unfinished room. I don't- how is it not finished? I didn't do it. Wait, is this house broken? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This- wait. No, this is- <laughs> What the fuck? Why does it do that? What the- They're like technically not on that floor. Bro, <laughs> this house is so broken. What the fuck? So this is what we're dealing with. This is so scoffed. Why does it look like this? What is happening? 
Yeah, we're just gonna have to like work around that. Okay, well, I'll see you in the morning. Go to work. Go. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Xander Clavel is behind bars for the night. The shame of the is this incarceration is a memory he wishes could be erased. We can pick up your belongings on the way out. We don't want you trying to escape using your commitment issues. Not so fast, Clavel. I don't know where you're from, but we frown upon that kind of criminal behavior in these parts. I do not think I have ever had a sim go to jail from the criminal cure before. Is that something to do with his traits as well? Oh my god, Buster, Bessie, go visit the police department. Oh my god, his poor parents. They're like, what the fuck did you do, dog? Like, no, they'd probably be like, I am so ashamed of you. Like, how? Yeah, so Buster, just go and say, like, we need to get this guy out. Like, we, you know, you can only bail your kid out so many times before you're bailing him out of jail. See, he's like, this is not acceptable. He needs out. Oh, make out. They're... <laughs> Their son is in jail and he's like, give it to me. I didn't even have to do anything. He just got arrested. Can we like yell at him? So I think she'll give him a hug and say like, I was so worried about you. And then he will go and yell at him and say, get a freaking hold of yourself. Yeah, see, they, they hate each other even more after that. Okay, I think all of you need to go home. Yeah, so that tanked their relationship even more. I really do think it's only a matter of time. Okay, you go to work and what is what do we even do here? Uh, do a side job. And let's hope he doesn't go to jail this time. Does anyone know why he went to jail? Is it just because he's a criminal and that has a chance of happening? Which I think that is true. But do his traits impact that? Because he mentioned the commitment issues extra muscle assist heist at a land grab industry science facility before it runs out oh absolutely all of the land grabs are snakes do not trust them nancy land grab wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire let alone help someone just from the kindness of her own heart oh it's right across the jump okay let's see what we've got to do here so oh we have to go to work to do it i was like where is my money Okay, so now he has the day off. I think it is time to throw a party. So let's do a juice kegger. Swimwear. <laughs> I would like to bring them, but they don't get along. So we'll just do all of Xander's friends. So pretty much just that entire household. <laughs> Of course, Buster and Bessie know nothing about this. Okay, the party is gonna be starting pretty soon. So, oh, I feel bad, they're all cleaning up, but we need to buy a juice keg. Glug, glug, glug. And then get the music out. Oh, hello. Okay, wait. Buster, I don't think you know what you're in for here. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's turn it on. Oh! Oh, Bessie! Again, turn! A bit juiced. Oh, well, that's not juiced enough. I think Bessie and Buster, you guys should probably go. Okay, and then you guys can just go to... I don't know, go to the park. You guys would like it there. They're throwing a party right across the street! Are you serious? He is feeling a little bit wild, so let's just do some sweet dancing. Wait, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, Blair, 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 what the fuck? Blair, what the fuck? Why are you a zombie? Get away! Just keep drinking! Get away! Oh my god! I think I'm gonna make him go streaking. Might as well. Zombie attack! I don't want to be attacked by a zombie! I want to go streaking! Okay, wait, go streak again. No! Oh, never mind, don't go- <laughs> Don't go streaking again! Oh, fuck's sake. Being watched from getting caught. Um, I don't really care. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! Wait. Be lectured again? Again? Fight. Yell at her. Be like, screw you, I'll do what I want. She just giddy up. What's going on? Wait, oh my god, she's get. Is she getting arrested? 
Why is she a wolf now? Through an amazing party. Well, yeah, I mean, it was it kind of been that bad. Now get out, okay? Leave. Enthuse about work. That's great. Just, oh, I had such a good day at work. Mooching and removing the ladder in the pool from other sims, if you catch my drift. He keeps drinking. I think that he's kind of drinking all this juice to sort of get over the fact that his son is a delinquent. Oh, okay, wait. So she actually told him, like, you need to get a grip. Okay, so I think I'm going to make Xander go and have some juice and then he's going to skip work. And what I'm going to make him do is I'm going to go and make him get a tattoo. So Xander, head on over. Let's go ahead and get a tattoo. I think we need to get something that really says, respect me. So I need like, <laughs> on the seventh day, God created Manchester. We need that. Some tribal maybe. <laughs> the tattoo options are so shit in this game. We could just get like massive like robot wings on his back. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's a really good first tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> cool and then let's go ahead and get a spray tan just hitting it with the jersey shore look hey have you been traveling around the world i can't help but notice your natural healthy glow everyone xander clavel knows i mean it doesn't look bad like he looks all right and then fucking blue fist whatever it was called Buster, how about, co yeah, complain about inappropriateness. Say, I cannot believe you skipped work to get a tattoo. And what the hell is that spray tan? And just say, like, dude, you're a grown man. Like, get a grip. And then I guess Sandra just, you know, yell at him back and say, like, you're just an old llama. Like, you need to get with the times. Okay, and then Buster, just go up to Bessie and say, like, we need to sort out that fucking kid. Look at him, like they're talking and he's fucking breaking it down. I think while the whole family is here, Bessie, you just gotta go talk to your son. Invite to join conversation and just talk about what needs to change, really. So just kind of chat with him and tell him like, dog, you don't take out the trash. <laughs> like you need to do something. God, it really is just bad. What the hell? Who's screaming? They literally just woke up when he got home. Okay, go and wake him up. And then go up to him and say like, Dude, you came in at 6am or something. Um, disapprove of criminals. Yeah, so go up and just like disapprove of criminals and be like, What the hell? Why? What is wrong with you? <gasps> he doesn't even care. Just be mean back and talk about Bessie's parents. Just mock him for being grumpy. Reminisce about childhood and say, you used to be so much better. What happened? Thinks he's being boring. He's like, I don't care. I'm not that kid anymore. Look at her. She's so sad. But I think she knows what needs to be done. So Xander, get the fuck out. You don't pay bills. You don't do anything. You steal our diamonds. So evict so here you go a nice little one bedroom one bathroom prefab home bye xander and now they seem to finally be at peace i can't imagine buster's gonna have any relationship with their son but i think bessie's still just too nice of a woman to say no they're getting old so i think we need to just give them a nice little vacation so buster bessie take a nice little three-day trip to china so the two of you let's just go to the hot springs wait what the hell what are you doing here why is there a ple a fire officer a fire firefighter yeah no the two of you go for a swim this is the life they deserved i'm gonna make them do a breath holding competition but i'm scared whether them will have like asthma or like an oxygen support device and then like this is not a happy ending and just like that I think this video is a donezo. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I've been getting such unreal support lately. I'm so close to 100 subs. It's making me so happy. 
If you liked any videos like this, I have a full playlist called Sims 3 Rumble Jumbo where I just kind of do whatever I want and cause chaos and it works. Um, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.